Hi, my name's Hannah, and I'm the worship pastor here at Life Church. Today, I'd like to bring you a devotional out of Psalm 16. It says, Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, You are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. I say of the holy people who are in the land, They are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. Those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not pour out libations of blood to such gods or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure. Because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. What a wonderful passage. This Psalm of David is as relevant today as it has ever been. And a few parts of it stand out to me today. The prayer in verse one, for God to keep us safe, is one that really stands out to me because he's our refuge. This is not a prayer for a comfortable life, but for a soul to be secure and found in God. He's the eternal one. While he does take care of the details of our lives and he does protect us physically, he's after our hearts ultimately and he wants our hearts forever. The next part that stands out to me is verse four. It says, those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not speak their names on my lips. So this is a prayer of consecration. God still wants us, his people, to be set apart for him. He still wants what's best for us and his way is still better. And lastly, verse 11 is the point I wanna bring up today. And in, and in the NLT, it says, You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. This scripture to me points right at Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. So this whole psalm paints a picture of a heart that is satisfied in God and his ways. It acknowledges that he's our refuge and that good things only come from him. And, we, and when we follow the way of life, who is Jesus, there is joy and contentment available to us. So if you find the time today, maybe take a moment and meditate on this psalm, Psalm 16, or read it out loud over yourself or a loved one. And remember that Jesus wants to give you life to the fullest.